When Andrew plays, he plays with his heart and with such passion that you can't help but be moved. So I think that you know, it's a very good connector of people and he, he wants the best for everybody and um, that's so apparent in how he brings it together with his music. Well he's a very serious musician and he's, uh, so I think uh, the, the, it's a quality of leadership so the leadership he shows by both what he does and how he plays and the people he has around him I believe gathers quality behind him because you can't run these sort of festivals seriously over a number of years um, if you haven't got quality. Andrew brings incredible warmth um, and is such a wonderful musician, he's so likeable, um, even when he's about to play his instruments he just comes around and mixes and talks to everybody. He's not only a brilliant musician but he's also just very enterprising. He provides real leadership to it. So it's fantastic the way he gets uh, his own group, the Bernardi Music Group, but also other uh, very distinguished composers and performers to come year after year to take part in it. And so the reputation has grown and grown, but it's very much Andrew's creation and the way it's grown is huge credit to him. Andrew's passion, enthusiasm, generosity, uh, selflessness, um, and, and all above all, he's a great chap and he's got great talent. But he's got such great plans. He's also, besides the fact that he's the most amazing musician, and he's very good at um, twisting your arm. And through Andrew's wonderful energy and playing the Stradivarius, he gives pleasure to people. And I have to say, um, I'm actually really lucky because my daughter is taught by Andrew, um, the violin at, at her local school. And so it's not just his exquisite musicianship, it's much more. He's building a, a community here in the heart of Sussex.